And now we're kind of in the jungle. We haven't even been inside the tunnels yet and it's still my favourite. Out of all of the temples that we've seen, this one takes the cake. Today is our second full day in Chiang Mai, but our first day actually going out and exploring. What we did is draw a map to all the main temples around Chiang Mai and within and on the outside of the old city. And we're gonna walk around in a bit of a loop. Takes about three hours, but we see all the best ones. We get to see all the best ones and we get to stop for cow soy along the way. So I'm super excited, it should be an awesome day. It's pretty much like Chiang Rai, how when we made our list of things to do, there was temples and there was food. Today is temple day, tomorrow food day. <laughs> First temple. Is the oldest one? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Wat Cheng Man. Oldest temple in the city. <laughs> Not even on the list, but we get to walk past this awesome temple every single day. Another unexpected thing right near our hotel is the Three Kings monument behind us. One of them seduced the other one's wife, but then they all forgave each other and worked together to create Chiang Rai. It's a, it's a longer backstory, but that's, that's the fun stuff. It's just like, oh yeah, you cheated on my wife. Let's build a city together. Yeah, like, great city. Two massive extremes. Mm -hmm. temple was the first one built in Chiang Rai by King Mang Rai. Wow. It was built here and he used it as a camp while he built the rest of Chiang Mai. And the old capital was Chiang Rai where we were in our last videos. But that but kept flooding. That kept flooding. I knew that. Bit. So they moved it here. This is insane. As if this was built, what year was it? 1296. 1296. <laughs> half hour and it's crazy beautiful. I can't believe that this was built so long ago. There is a small quartz statue here that's about 10 centimeters tall. They think it was actually built in 200 CE, so the year 200, and then taken from temple to temple. But any town that gets sacked, whichever building that statue is in, doesn't get robbed. So, so they think like it's- a good luck charm. It's like a good luck charm. It's like a special thing for them. It's crazy. I know, it's so old. But now, I don't know if you can hear that, it's raining pretty heavily. So we're probably gonna hang out here to try and wait it out until we can run to a cafe or the next temple. We got rained out. We made it to one whole temple before the rain set in and it's been going for what, an hour? We've been sat yeah. here. This is our second coffee. It's really good. We've seen an old lady across the way sweeping the water away from her shop step. There's a scooter in front of us and like a quarter of the tire was underwater That's for amazing. a while. We've trusted Google before and it's let us down a few times. Today it seems to be pretty accurate. Apparently we will be rained on until about two o'clock. After that we can actually get out and see the rest of the temples we wanted to see today. Yeah, so we're gonna try and make our way back to the hotel. I think we're just gonna hang out in the room for a while and as soon as the rain goes away, just go as quick as we can to hit all of the temples that we have left. A few hours later, and it looks like the rain has finally passed. 
We're both starving, so we're gonna make our way to Castle Mesa, and along the way, it looks like there's one more temple that we can hit, but we're both super excited for some cow soy. And this one is really detailed. The really dark timber is something that I'm not sure we've seen before, but it's offset with the gold and then all of these like little mirrors makes the roof just shine. It's crazy beautiful. because we got to see all these little monks like cleaning up after the rain. I guess some rubbish must have gotten through so they were all sweeping it away. It was really cool to see. It was really cool to see but now we are starving so we heard there is a really nice noodle place around the corner. We decided we'd save a little bit of money and walk to the temple and now we're kind of in the jungle but we saw a sign that says the main building should be up this way. Already so happy that we decided to walk because I feel like we've gotten to see the hillside of Chiang Mai and I'm already super happy that we came here because it's super cool. We are feeling a little bit templed out so we thought that this could be like a cure and or a really good ending. <laughs> this one was top of my list of things I wanted to see. Yeah? The temples I wanted to see, yeah. I think it's because it looks different because it's so outdoors and like the tunnel's so unique. I don't know. We haven't even been inside the tunnels yet and it's still my favourite of Chiang Mai, for sure. I would definitely say that this has gone a ways to cure my temple outedness. Yeah, I agree, me too. And we haven't even seen the tunnels like you said. It's just because it's like outside in the wilderness, there's not that many people, all of the trees, the forest, and I don't know. It's really That's special, it. it's really different. Seen. This one takes the cake, especially for Thailand. It's super unique and built into the side of a mountain. The origins are known though. That's so cool. I don't know why this isn't on the top of everybody's list. My mind is blown. This place is awesome. It's, I know I keep saying, it's just so different to everything else. Like everything's yeah. within a city, it's so busy. There's like the cars and everything. This, you're just in wilderness. Mm. And the fact that they don't know the origins of yeah, it, it makes I feel it that like much that cooler. just adds to it because it's like this mystery. Yeah, it's like a sprawling complex in the jungle rather than a tiny little temple in a city that's got buses and yeah. cars whizzing around. And like, they're still beautiful. This is just mm. so different to that. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. The walk here was about an hour, so yeah. I think we'll grab home and And then chill tomorrow, out. 
I'm so excited. It's the Sunday night walking market. Yes. I can't wait. I'm gonna eat so much food. More food tomorrow. <laughs> walking through the outside. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Bye, bye, horse.